Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. It's your girl LB. Welcome to my channel, Watch With Me LB, where I give you fun, fresh, and funny rants, reviews, and recaps on my favorite movies and TV shows. <sighs> this one is titled Rainier the Crew, and I don't like the defamation court summons, okay? I don't like that. Y'all, this episode was really, really good. I was sad, I was annoyed, I was damn near enraged during this episode. So it gave me all the feels, okay? So let's talk about episode two of season two of House of the Dragon. The episode opens up, we are dealing with the aftermath of blood and cheese taking poor little baby Jaharis on out the game, okay? So his daddy slash uncle, they're upset. His son nephew is dead. And you know, wouldn't you be sad if your son nephew was dead? Come on now, yeah. This was upsetting to me because he, you know, he was in there tearing up his daddy little erector set that he had built all that time. You know, his like model that he was carving up and stuff and he was tearing it up and that just shows to me that he has no respect for the past, that he has no reverence or like thought to look to the past for anything. So most people would be like, oh, that's my daddy stuff. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna mess with it. He was just tearing it up. And it's like, you got a whole castle to destroy stuff in, sir. Won't you go somewhere else? Like go in the kitchen. It's gonna come back to haunt him, I think. Of course, Allison, the aggravation is making it all about her because the gods are punishing her because she cannot stay off of Christian Cole's yam. She says that the baby's pain has ended but her daughter is the one that she got to worry about. Now, first of all, the baby was never in pain, okay? I, as far as I know, I don't I don't know. I ain't know that little boy that well. I'm just saying from what I know, he was always playing with his little toys and stuff. He was well looked after, you know what I'm saying? He, they trimmed his ends and he was very well cared for. What pain was he in? His pain has ended. What kind of shit is that to say? I didn't like that. Allison is feeling guilty for the death of her grandson good <laughs> i mean listen idle high tower is like my great grandchild is dead i'm so sorry sorry to this baby okay but we could do something with this we can make something work with this and i'm like bro can you grieve a tap like they just told you 15 seconds ago that the little boy did you like hmm. Hmm. he must never get no sleep good lord so then over there by his daddy uncle he's over there in the small council meeting blaming all the small council well, where was the maester at when they was murdering my child? He was doing some maester shit. Like, what is the maester supposed to do? I don't, what you want him to like, whip up a potion and throw it at him? Well, I know, I know, I know he's projecting, he's upset, he's trying to find anybody to blame. But I was like, sir, take that energy to that cowardly line you got over there in the corner, okay? Because let me tell y'all something. Christian Cole, is a, he's like that person that you work with that always fucks up, but manages to get a promotion. Every time Christian Cole was supposed to be somewhere, he not there and somebody died. And they be like, oh no, I wonder what had happened. He wasn't doing his job, okay? He needs at least a performance improvement plan at minimum. You understand? Didn't nobody give him no pull him to the side and say, listen, you fucking up, okay? And if you don't stop, they gonna take your head off. But you keep just, you know, letting them slide. And I just, I know it's because he got that yam, okay? I, I Okay, he got the yam. But you know how many yams they got in the seven kingdoms? It's seven kingdoms worth of yam outside. He finally goes over there to Christian Cole and hollers in his face. He put like damn that nose to nose and was like, where were you at? And he was like, oh, I was asleep. Excuse me, bro. You mean to tell me out of all these delicately dressed ass uh, knights in all shining armor, you didn't have nobody to stand guard? I would have pressed him on that. He ain't pressing. Christian Cole just be getting, he just be getting away with stuff I hate. I may or may not have a really good imagination when it comes to getting people back for like doing stuff to me in my younger days. Not now, I'm a, I'm a lady. In olden times, I will take out the side panel of your car and put some shit in there. Of course, I would never do that. This is for educational purposes only, allegedly. Okay, that's what they used to do back in the day. I would never do nothing like that, but I'm just saying. Somebody need to do something to him. He needs to suffer. And I just don't like how he just walking around with a cape on his back. I just really don't like that. I don't like that. Aegon is like, listen, it's time to ride. We already know Rhaenyra did it. She need to just take her out of the game. I don't know what we sitting around this table talking with these little marbles in this bowl, baby. Why we out? Why are we not out riding these dragons? Okay, go get Vagar. Let's mount up. But Otto was like, listen, hey, 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 calm down. Take some deep breaths. Okay, we got to do this and be smart about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a fume. Okay, we're going to have a memorial second line parade. 
through the streets of King's Landing, okay? And they're gonna see what Rhaenyra did, okay? We don't get down with killing no children. We gonna make people think that Rhaenyra killed this child because we know, you know, what that's gonna do to her little reputation. That's gonna strike a mighty blue, okay? Allison, you get your daughter, y'all gonna ride in the back. And Allison was like, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. His uncle daddy is like, I don't want my son paraded outside for everybody to see. He ain't got his head. It's, it's a separation is what you don't understand, I don't think. Because why would you say that? But Otto Hightower was like, I, I'm going to go ahead and insist. We got to do it. So the year 100 worst mother of the year award winner, Allison, goes over to Helena and say, hey, baby, they got a funeral. We're going to do a little second line for the baby they want us to go and then helena was like i don't want to go and uh, allison was like they're gonna be they're gonna feel so close to us and that's what she was like i don't fuck with them like that i don't even know them people i don't want them by me you know helena gonna embroider some stuff baby <laughs> she's gonna win a blue ribbon in the king's landing county fair embroidery competition that girl embroiders all day every day so we had seen her embroidering something when jaharis the poor baby r.i.p was alive okay and now whatever she was embroidering he can wear that in his funeral procession okay? allison is like um i know that you are a grieving child mother okay you know trying to come to grips with what's real and what's not. I just wanted to say, when you saw me riding that thing like a soldier when you came in the room, okay, let's just have a little conversation about it. And Helena was like, ah, 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 hey, I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't, I don't, we're not talking about that. Take this on down to the funeral procession uh, place and put this on my child. How would she even come to her mind to even think about that? Why is she not so deep in grief at her grandson's beheading? that she wouldn't even think about that. We'll cross that bridge, okay? Did she think the bridge was gonna come to her feet 12 minutes after the little boy had died? I hate her. I hate her. I hate her, okay? Now, when they was in a small council meeting, Clubfoot came in there right before Eamon was getting ready to tan to his mama about where she was at and what she was doing when the little boy had got, you know, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, hey, you know, we found somebody that was trying to get out the gate and they had a little boy head in a bag, baby. I feel like this is the one. Now they got the blood in the dungeon. So Lord Laris go in the dungeon and he roll out some, you know, medieval torture equipment, like a little starter pack, you know? All he does is put out the tools. Baby, blood was like, hey, how you doing? I'm blood. Um, I was high by Damon Targaryen. You don't even need to go no further. He told us we was gonna pay us half up front and half on the back end. Please don't hurt me. I would really prefer not to die or be tortured and I'll do whatever you say. Like he was just singing like a damn canary. And I said, wait a minute, I thought you was a gangster. You know, last week I had said he had a beaver in his throat. Cause he was like, yeah, what are we gonna do with the thing? And we gonna get the little boy and do the thing. And this one, he was like, please don't hurt me. Damon hired me to come in. What? <laughs> what? Giving me toilet paper in the rain, baby. Just, just disappear. He just was falling apart. He had me fooled, child. So now it's time for the second line of funeral. It looked very nice, okay? It was very tastefully done, I will say. And he looked like he was sleeping, huh? That's what they always say. He looked like he was sleeping. They had to stitch his little neck on, bless his heart. And he was in there and I was very worried. because so I was like, Lord, this is the year 100. I'm not trusting the stitching techniques that y'all got. Cause if this baby head, you know, detach and roll off onto the ground into like a little puddle of mud, baby, I'm just gonna be too done. I'm gonna be out done. Because you know, it's it ain't no street. They just riding in the dirt. And so the little baby head was like jiggling and I was worried. I don't, everybody sad, y'all. Everybody very sad. And we hear this guy saying, behold, the works of Rhaenyra the Cruel, the Infant Slayer. Like they coming up with some fire ass nicknames to disparage Rhaenyra and I'm like, damn, I, I'm mad about it, but them some cold ass like bad guy names. They must have sat in a little meeting and wrote down on some little parchment what they was gonna call it. Cause he was just like serving them up. I'm mad at it, but them some good ass nicknames. Oh, I just, we got to protect Helena, baby. I don't know how we could cause it's 2024 and baby, this was a long time ago. She was having a panic attack, baby. It was too many people. First of all, I don't even know if that girl had been outside them castle walls before. All, every time I see her, she got her hands in a in an ant pile, baby, or like on a spider's web, or she embroidering something in the house. I don't know. Has she ever been outside? I don't I don't know. She was very nervous. The little wagon that the little baby's on gets stuck, right? And they can't move. It's like in a in a in a little hole. And so that gives access to the crowds of people to be like, oh girl, I'm so sorry for your loss. They were trying to rub her back in a circle, baby, and it was just too much. She had a panic attack. And Allison couldn't do nothing because once again, she has won 
consecutively for the past five years the worst mother in the world award, okay? So now we over there at Rhaenyra house. Rhaenyra's confusion because she like, how, who, who, how, how did, why would they think I did that? I don't even have no beef with the child. I love Elena, that's my sister. That's the one I fuck with the most out of any, all of my siblings. And so, you know, they going around the table and they got this one guy, I don't know his name, like Iron Claw or Iron Lad or Iron Steed or somebody, I don't know, child. He's like, well, listen, wouldn't nobody blame me if you did because you know you grieving and the queen that never was, Rhaenys was like, say, <laughs> Bite your tongue, my boy. You know, she's trying to figure out where the idea or where that would even come from. Whole time, y'all, Damon Targaryen is giving her the... Look, like, I now I clocked that Rhaenyse had clocked Damon. He was being uncharacteristically quiet, right? Everybody was like, whoa, what do we do? How do they think? Damon was like... Rhaenyra put two and two together and was like, you bitch. So of course they had to go into their little bedroom child and have a little a little marital spat. Rhaenyra's like, you, I can't leave you alone for two damn seconds because you always into some shit and you want to be in charge so damn bad and you don't know your role, okay? She ain't say all that, no, I'm just, it's just me. So, you know, and Damon was like, bro, why do you keep saying that? I'm about to go like, I'm about to go to war for you. Like, what you even talking about? So they had to rehash all the things that Damon had done in the past before they decided to get incestuous with it, okay? And decided to have some little, you know, wild ass uncle, cousin, you know. So if Damon and Rhaenyra are uncle and niece, Damon would be their daddy, great uncle, yeah, no thanks. Rhaenyra says, do you accept me as your queen? And Damon don't say yes or no, right? He was like, when the man stole a crown, I put the crown on your head, baby. I'm, what you talking about? Damon wanna be in charge. He just was born in the wrong order, okay? And thank God, because the world would just be on fire. If he was on the throne, child, he would just burn everybody. He leaves out the room and he walking down the hallway, Damon, I'm talking about, walking down the hallway and Bela is coming up the opposite direction. When I tell you he like didn't say nothing to his child, I don't think I've ever seen him say anything to his children. The five time consecutive worst father in the world, Damon Targaryen, ladies and gentlemen, he is a trash father. You remember when they was fighting um, Allison children? They were beating the shit out of them little boys. I love Rayla and Bayla, okay? I want to see Rayla and Bayla interact together though, because you know they weren't, they're not really being raised together right now. So I want to see them together too. But anyway, and Rhaenyra said, hey, I need you to take Moon Dancer and go like patrol the skies, baby. We had, it's time to go down. I know I could count on you. Just stay high and just keep your eye on the prize. Okay? Back over there at Allison Dirty Ass House, her children, husband and wife, do the same thing that Damon and Bayla just did. They walking in opposite directions and they come across each other. And Aegon didn't say nothing to his wife's sister. Okay, and I'm like, well, y'all just lost a nephew child together. Y'all don't want to console each other? Them people, crazy. The worst person in the world for me is Christian Cole, okay? I just really want to, he has a very punchable face. Not the actor, not Fabian. No, no, Fabian is cool as a fan. I love Fabian. I'm talking about Sir Christian Cole. That's two different people. That's two different, separate. That's what y'all need to do, okay? Christian Cole, he could catch a fade. I'm just, I, you could catch a fade, you could catch a fade, punch you in your face, you could catch a fade. I hate him. I hate him real bad. One of the twins, okay? I don't remember which one is which. I, I was confused the whole episode because them jokers is twins for real in real life, okay? I'm a twin mom too. So Christian Cole walks over to the twin that he employs and on the king's guard. He eating him some stew, okay? He got a nice little bowl of gruel, baby, and trying to just, you know, fuel up. So he walking over to this man and sees that his cloak is dirty because my man's was just outside patrolling and, and, and fighting crime and shit. And so Christian Cole said, well, if you're not going to protect the dignity of our post, our cloak is a symbol of the purity of the nations and we going to have... <sighs> Like, it's so many people that in this show getting assaulted, and he is just never one, and I just will never understand that. He makes the man get up from his groove and go clean and go get another cloak, okay? And so while he's walking off, Christian Cole say, and where were you when the little baby died? No, bitch. <laughs> where were you at, okay? So he says, where were you when the little boy died? And the, the man was like, I'm a king's guard. I was guarding the king, dummy. So he says, okay, so you want to make it right for some shit you ain't never do wrong? And you're going to sneak into Rhaenyra's house. You're going to pretend to be your twin. And you're going to murder Rhaenyra. And that's going to make it right. Okay. Two wrongs don't make it right. 
but too long was the night I kept you guessing. What movie does that come from? It's all I can do. All I can do. Focus. Focus. A child has died. Focus up, please. Don't be disrespectful. We get a scene with Eamon Targaryen, okay? He's in the brothel. I just, it was a very weird scene because every time we've seen Eamon, he been, yeah, what we gonna do? I'm a, we gonna get down on it. Like, he's very, like, like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't shaking his titties. He was, right? I'm shaking my titties because I got him. I, I didn't mean to do that. Just scratch that. Just pretend I didn't do that. Rewind. Just delete that. So, he's over there at the, at the brothel, literally fetal position in the lap of an older sex worker in a very nice and well-equipped room at the brothel, Okay. And he talking about how Damon is scared of him. And that's why he sent somebody to murder him. And he ain't mean to kill Luke. And he was drinking a glass of warm milk. And I said, baby, listen, Allison is the nine time consecutive winner of the worst mother of the year award. If this boy had to go to a brothel to lay in the lap of a sex worker who he has paid, that boy has never gotten any love or nurturing or anything from Allison. And I know her mama died when she was young and she was raised up with men and she always had to be catering to men. So maybe she just don't know, but God damn it. So something is telling me that the, the little lady in the brothel, you know, the sex worker, she gonna come back. I don't know. I feel like the great, the great worm, oh, the white worm. I feel like they know each other and she gonna get that tea up out of them. I'm just saying, it hadn't been, really been no trustworthy sex workers in the show, so I'm just going off a of precedent, okay? So now we get a scene with Rhaenyra and the white worm, okay? And she comes in. Now, when she comes into the room, the, the white worm, Rhaenyra's in the library, baby. She's doing some Googles, okay? She's just the opposite of her brother. Her brother tearing down the past. Rhaenyra trying to study the past to see what the hell happened. She who she can learn from, who did what, and how they were successful. Because she knows she's going to war. She's studying. She's in the crates, okay? Rhaenyra asked her, well, who the hell are you? Like, what did what part do you have to play in all of this? And she remembers that that was Damon Lil' Sides Boogie. And so I don't know if that, like, have a she has a little jealousy about it or whatever. I don't know. But the white worm is like, hey... Um, your husband told me that in exchange for giving him the names of blood and cheese, which I regret, I shouldn't have did that, play as fuck up, that he was going to give me my freedom. And I'm going to hope that you a stand up gal and you're going to give me your freedom too. And Renee was like, girl, get the hell out of my face. So now the crazy King Aegon done hung all the rat catchers outside the building for their little wives and children to see. Okay. And one of the people that they hung is... And a poor little dog see his daddy hanging down and it's so sad, it's crying and whimpering. That's why we don't deserve dogs, bro. We really don't. We as a human race do not deserve dogs. But Otto Hightower gets word and he is pissed to say the least. So he goes to his raggedy grandson and he's in there with the worst person in the world, Christian Cole. And he's like, what the hell did you do? And he was like, oh, I killed all the rat catchers. I don't know who was the one that killed my child, so I just killed them all. Like, we did all this whole funeral. Uh, we doing a PR push right now, okay, to swing things in your favor. And all you do is go back do that and kill all the rat catchers. So now all the common folk is like, oh my God, he killed my son. I don't even fuck with them like that no more. You can't just go outside and beat your chest and play regulators and mount up and just murder everybody. You gotta be strategic. This is about more than just you getting revenge. This is about maintaining your throne. So Aegon say, you know what? I'm sick of all the, the knickknacks, the paddy wags, the whatever. I'm trying to go do something. And that's what Christian Cole did for me. I don't hide time. I was like, what did he do? Well, he sent twin of them to go over there to Rhaenyra house to kill Rhaenyra. And Otto Hightower was like, something got to be wrong. Like, it's something the matter, right? In this little frontal lobe area. It just is not fully developed. The stupid king says, you know what? I'm about sick of you, old ass man. Go ahead and just dismiss yourself. You're not my hand. So in a really quick scene, Rhaenyra goes to the white worm cell and is like, listen, I ain't gonna fuck with you. It's girls over everybody. Go ahead and I'm gonna let you go. And she went down there with her twin in them, okay? Rhaenyra was like, make sure she got, you know, a little ticket on the boat and get your ass out of Dodge. She saw 
Rainier is twinning them. I don't know if it was Erica Auric while she was getting her freedom. And so she's walking down to the pier to get on a boat and she see Allison twinning them walking toward the castle. And so she's like, oh no, something is afoot. So Allison twinning them, Erica Auric, not sure which. He goes to Rhaenyra house and sneaks in there. And then Rhaenyra's twinning them is doing his job, okay? He's been, you know, he's been top flight of the world. So, and he feels his little twin in them telepathy. Mm -hmm. It just feel like he's here. Twins do that all the time. My twins, when they were little, they used to answer each other's questions without asking them. Like one would just be looking and then the other one would be like, it's over here. Like they would just, it, it would freak me out. So they was very much giving that. Allison's twin in them finds himself guarding Rhaenyra's door. And so he went in there and was like, say, how you doing? Good evening. I'm so sorry about this. I just, I hate to do it to you. Rhaenyra was in there with one of her little ladies maids trying to go to sleep, child. She had done her little skincare routine and everything. She she was just trying to go to sleep. Rhaenyra's twin is Eric. Allison's twin is Arik. Cause Allison and Arik saw what they ate. That's what I think. So Arik, yeah, I don't know. So Allison's twin gets in a room with Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra's twin comes in and they start beefing. Do you know how hard it has had to been for them to fight each other? You fighting your own self. And so of course me, I'm confusing the whole time. I don't know who is who, child. They spinning around like they did in the beat it video. Somebody got cut, somebody got punched, somebody broke their nose, somebody fell. And then Lord, one of them had to stab the other one in the stomach because he was really trying to kill Rhaenyra. And then the other one was devastated. So he killed himself, he fell on his sword. It was so sad. It was so sad. It felt really bad for Eric and Ari, RIP. At the time that this is happening, Allison and her raggedy ass and her raggedy ass daddy is in there commiserating because he just so sad that he got fired from his job again. Allison is like, oh no, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get a hold of him and he gonna listen to me. He just gotta calm down and whatever, whatever. Allison is like, daddy, I need to talk to you. I've sinned, I need to, I need some advice. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't have time, I was like, boop. Don't say that. I don't give a shit, girl. Don't tell it to me. Tell it to the Lord, okay? Centennial time winner, worst mother of the year, Allison, leaves that conversation and goes to her son, Aegon's room. He's so devastated about the loss of his son. He is just tore up, okay? That is his first son nephew, baby. That's the only one he ever was gonna have. That he's crying down, baby, head in hands. Allison was like, you know what? It's too much. <laughs> she is you already know. And then on the third stop of her horrible ass train ride that she takes, she goes to her room. And who is in there but the worst person in the world, Christian Cole. He not in his guard, you know, king of the land, what you call them things? King's guard ensemble. He in his little Prince Eric shirt. I'm like, okay, so you just knew you was gonna go in there and get that yam, huh? You just knew you was gonna get some because you ain't even come in there with your clothes, with your, with your uniform on. He was like, girl, let's skip the formalities, okay? We gonna get into it. And so Allison sees him and she don't have nowhere to put her feelings because her daddy told her no and she couldn't be bothered to be a consoling mother. So she started beating shit, like slapping the shit out of Christian Cole. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. And so they started making out and that's where the episode ends. Horrible. The episode was really great. The performances were great. I know for a fact they're gonna knock my socks off next week because we had to set all this up, okay? Damon done flew off to the wetlands, the wetlands. He done flew off to somewhere. Damon flew off with his long neck dragon, baby. He about to get into some shenanigans. Lord Coral is gonna get into his, his shenanigans with them little bastard children of his. Bela outside riding her dragon. Allison still gonna be trash. So Christian Cole still gonna have the most punchable face on the show, but we setting it up. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of this episode. Comment down below and let me know what you thought comment down below and let me know what you think is gonna happen next week did you know which twin was who or what twin was what when they were fighting because your girl was confused i'll talk to y'all in the comments y'all i'm gonna talk to you later bye